My very respected colleagues, fresh colleagues, Dino Melae Kogi West. Baba, you speak the truth, you die. You lie, you die. It's better we speak the truth and die. Mr. President, it is pathetic. And I want to ask this question. And this question is to the executive arm of government. Should we continue in sin and ask grace to abound? Mr. President, time after time, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice in this country have abused his office. We are not talking about MENA. MENA did not get himself back. We should talk about the integrity of the office of the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice. That is the chief lawmaker, number one in this country. And if law officer, and if the law officer have his hands stained, then the entire nation, we are in a state of dignity, dignity. <laughs> Mr. President, it started with the issue of forgery case against the Senate President and the Deputy Senate President. After realizing their monumental error, they withdrew that matter disgracefully against the two principal, sorry, presiding officers of this chamber. Mr. President, today, something happened that we have not noticed. Two public officers quarreled. Two public officers have misunderstanding. The Inspector General of Police and Senator Issa Ahmad Nissan. By the interpretation of what the Attorney General did, he chose to support one public officer against another public officer. When did the Inspector General of Police become anonymous or equivalent to federal government? Today, the charges against Issa Ahmad Misao is Issa Ahmad Misao versus federal government. IG, as an individual, is not federal government. And by the provisions of 1999 Constitution as amended, the Attorney General is supposed to prosecute only in public interest. How does an individual now con constitute public interest. How does the IG now become federal government? But because we have condoned impunity in the past, Mr. President, a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was arraigned before a court against the federal government. Tomorrow, if I commit any sin against a friend of the Attorney General of the Federation, I will also be arraigned over a civil matter for a criminal trial. Mr. President, shall we continue in sin and ask grace to abound? These excesses are becoming unbecoming. And we should not also encourage setting up investigative uh, committees panels by Mr. President. Mr. President is a very good man. And the man means well. But he is surrounded by cankerworms and caterpillars who have decided to destroy this government. We have the SDF committee set up. Reports have been submitted. There are other committees that have been set up we are expecting that maybe implementation will be after rapture. Mr. President, enough is enough. Nigeria is not a banana republic. 
We will continue to sit, deliberate like this, pass resolution, and go until we stand up on behalf of the people of this country. We are representatives of the people. We should have the temerity, the audacity to take strong decisions on behalf of the Nigerian public. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. Nigerians will now understand why this chamber voted that the office of the Attorney General and that of the Minister of Justice be separated. You cannot be a card carrying member of a party, you cannot be an appointee of the government and then prosecute in public interest. And we have seen the misuse and abuse of that office. So, Mr. President, we must recommend to the President that the Attorney General of the Federation have, he, he have displayed gross, colossal incompetence for the office with, for which he is uh, occupying. Let us not look at it from any point of sentiment or from any point of um, myopism. The man will run us into a constant crisis that has the capacity to bring down this nation if we don't check it on time. A word is enough for the world. Thank you, Mr. President.